Hey Leo, Leo. I'm D. Let's play cards. All right, let's see what's going on. Lack of dissatisfaction. You don't like what's going on around you. Looks better on the outside, like way better. Like way, way better. But why you got yourself all trapped and stuck and isolated. Somebody's isolating big time. Uh, big time. This literally is time. So I don't know, you know. Mm, oh, oh, oh. We're just going to stay on the on the theme here. Uh, there's a lot of deception. Hidden tactics. It could be deception of the self. I was saying that you got yourself stuck someplace that you don't want to be, but you don't have to be there. It's up to you to make the decision to uh, move forward. This is conscious contact with a higher power. It is about a higher power and, and the meaning of the things. Co-creating with a higher power. Someone that feels like they are lost and empty. There's a big, great <clears throat> emptiness. You don't need to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. I will call them back. Martin Luther King Jr. We got a lot of juniors coming out today. So uh, let's have a look. See with the tarot real quick. What's this lack and dissatisfaction? Ace of Wands. Unable to have this new beginning here or say the things. Somebody's very defensive about making the moves and sending the messages. Someone keeps blocking their own messages. Leo, there you are there. Somebody keeps getting in their own way or somebody's getting in the way of the forward movement here. But it looks like you let them. It doesn't matter the, the facet in which, it, which it's happening because you control your, you, you, if you're in charge of your life here. Seven of swords, four of cups. You're missing opportunities and losing great strength here. Eight of swords by staying stuck and not listening to your intuition with the queen of cups and making some offer here. Or you're, it's looking like you're supposed to make the offer. It also looks like you, there's a lot of missed opportunities here. What's this with the cornucopia and the wish fulfillment? King of Pentacles, something to do with a father or leveling up or someone being trustworthy. Ace of Swords, talking to a father. High Priestess, about the secrets, about wanting some victory and success with the High Priestess, about some special intellect that somebody has. Somebody feels like they, they've got some information. Somebody's been looking at a High Priestess or getting tarot readings and seeing that the way that things are going are the Five of Pentacles and it's not the way to really do the things that Ace of Cups right here back with the strength and the seven of swords a great loss and theft with this father energy somebody maybe have daddy issues maybe even mommy issues someone could be having trouble with work as well but uh, ten of cups so uh joy and family and the things that are everlasting and connected the interconnected of the familyness tick tock tick tock that's the three of swords so there's a lot of heartache and shit going on in the family um you know what can i say Hangman. The only way that things change is if when people change their behavior, six of swords, and decide to actually change the behavior and move along. So the page of wands, it looks like somebody really, these came out together in, in another reading. It looks like somebody is ready to move along, two people maybe, being um, moved, five of pentacles, up out of the five of pentacles. The world is lifting someone up and putting them into the future. The future is where the things are, even though it doesn't look like that now, or it didn't look like that then. Then the the somebody's it needs to be rearranged, or somebody's got to let go of some shit. What is the hidden tactics? I am talking fast because I don't want to be doing this all 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 the time. I need to get like a five minute routine down. So five of cups, a lot of sadness about the past. So the self deception, or you know things that happened in the past aren't as they seem. Somebody may have burned some bridge. Uh, and didn't mean to ace of swords. Maybe somebody should have said something or, you know, looked at something differently. Eight of swords, purgatory. Leaving out some sort of mothering energy. Somebody needs a mother. Somebody needs healing, unconditional love. Somebody needs to see some sort of beauty. Or, uh, so there's some deception about this mother. It's the eight of swords and the empress. The queen of wands, you and the mother. Uh, woo, hierophant. In the moon. Uh, there's a lot of dreaming and intuition and spirit in the middle of this as well. Uh, somebody has family legacy. Oh, somebody's upset about the family and the legacy of the things. Uh, there are people off to the side and not, not, not talking quite possibly. 
that is the clock yet again. I mean, there's two time things out here. So this is all probably past life soulmate chick because there's the tree and that says past life. But it's about the growth and the evolution. And it's about time that people put the effort into the growing and moving forward with yet another boat. The Six of Swords come out several times. Heading right towards this Empress here uh, with all this knowledge uh, about uh, love. Grace and charm, it's all about relationships where there's been deception and things hidden. Uh, the Akashic Records is very relevant today um, about the soul contracts. The mother is right smack in the middle of all the things and integrating everything um, together. You know, where you came from, I don't know, there's some like disassociation. Someone's experience in experiencing duality, like I can't, I can't do this over here in the darkness, so I really need to branch out move out get going spiritual growth uh and it's one foot in front of the other and getting things started it's a leader somebody's heading towards a leader and there we are go with the magic and the dead people and shits like that somebody could see dead people be a medium um this this is things breaking down to make something else uh somebody is going to lose somehow some way here somebody's going to feel a great loss so the whole thing has been a great loss uh, and it's the ability, <laughs> family matters, don't let idiots ruin your day, when you're a threat, you're a target, somebody's been a target of a family, uh, sometimes you're right, a spiritual teacher and leader, somebody's owed an apology here, there's a resolution, uh, two things prevent us from happiness, one is living in the past, the other is observing the future, psychic abilities, uh, we did mention that, and the matrix, uh, this is not where we all, it's like you got to be able to traverse all the, all, all the, all the terrains here, um, you got to be able to live in the 3D, the 5D, and all the Ds, because there's a lot of information in just being in the 3D and being a muggle and not paying attention to all the things that are going on that are greater and bigger is a big mistake. So, psychic abilities, haunted, gifts, unknown, ghost, journey, and teacher. The mask. So, uh... Ego, keeping things from people from doing things. And somebody's got hidden motives here that they've not let people know. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. Love life and it will love you back. So like I was saying, somebody's got some plans and, and people aren't privy to them yet. Uh, life, big life plans. Ooh, about opening something up, digging something up here. There's warring tribes that people aren't getting along. There's a big riddle. Something's about uh, all the puzzle pieces here and the solution of the puzzle. Somebody is a gatekeeper. There's an initiation test as far as the psychic shit is going. And what is this right here? The detective. Somebody's doing a lot of watching and a lot of collecting evidence, putting things together, all the clues, because this is clues and this is clues. Hostage. People held against their will. There's the high priestess again, and then there's revenge. The last stand, people can go and do what they need to do. Uh, end, end evil rule, they just need to start doing it. By they, that mean you, me, me, you, I don't know. You can flip the things around and see where you belong. But um, anywho, it's a vibe, all of it. <clears throat> I just try to collect it and get it out there. So, you know, final battle, it says the oppression is a real thing. And mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? It is, who, are, who am I? Where do I belong? In a magic porthole. And this is a porthole and a gatekeeper and something about nursery rhymes. Someone's singing a song over and over and over in their head. And I kind of hear Barney singing along uh the big purple dinosaur so you know anywho until next time that is all i got